Hey everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Mondays. Uh, I am your host, Max, and we're back from our Halloween kick. Uh, we're going to play some Minecraft, uh, working in our survivor world. Would you know it, I have already ran back home. Uh, I collected a few good things. I even broke down a little bit of the blaze powder, and I've got some blaze rods now. And, uh... Today, instead of exploring the fortress more, because I have chosen to flee the scene, uh, we'll go back there to uh, exp do some more exploring later. S most of what I have recovered is over here in this chest right now. I just wanted to hold on to some of that. And those are my diamond collection because I was going to also do some upgrading today because we need to upgrade just a little bit because uh the reason i ran is because i only have buttery protection and that's not enough for the nether apparently and i just rested so uh it's morning right now and let's just close in our beautiful uh little scenic view of the sky and our fish are still doing wonderful... Ooh, some of them I haven't seen in a while are popping back. The salmon's around here somewhere. I just He's just down there, that's all. Uh, but yes, uh, yeah, I saw him earlier, so he's fine. Uh, but yeah, oh, there goes another fish. But today, uh, we are going to experiment with this blaze powder. I even made some of these. Which the formula, I'll go ahead and show you right now. Uh, yeah, this will actually do. Because uh, all you need is uh, some blaze rods and uh, three of these to make a brewing stand. And, but I'm not going to do that because I have a little bit of blaze rods left. So I need to be careful with that. Blazes are not fun. To fight with this amount of armor on so let's go ahead and go outside and fill up some of these glass bottles and the way to do it is uh, how to make these glass bottles are uh, the following you got to do a little U in order to do that so let's go ahead fill this up I emptied my inventory because they don't stack <laughs> they do not even as a potion when you craft it they do not uh, do, 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 do they do not stack yes so yeah you they do not stack so I apologize for that uh, well no I don't apologize for game mechanics and I crush some of the blaze rods into blaze uh, powder and you just do it like that and you get two per rod I wish it was more but nope that's just not how Minecraft works uh, so go ahead and like dump in a couple of these and you've got yourself some uh, brewing mix right there and these are good for like maybe 10 potions I don't know uh, we'll experiment and figure that out together uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and situate the powder so that way my thing has two of each all right, so now we're in the brewing business. So you could take anything from mundane of as a sugar. Uh, actually, you need nether wart, which I got this uh, from my adventure. As you recall, I, I plucked that from the ground. I was just trying to do some organizing before the show, but you know what? Whatever. So uh, any of your potions begins with a nether wart, and you just dump that on the top and you dump that on the top and you dump that on the top and you will get uh, a good result from that right over here and uh, I tried to do that all at the same time so you will get awkward potions which can be enchanted I should hear one more there we go uh, let's make, let's make potions of speed. Why not? Uh, we're going to do a little brewing today. Let's just make some sugar and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make some sugar 
Let's make that happen. Yeah, and a lot of these potions can be made from your everyday your everyday items. And while that's brewing, I'm gonna look for another item because I need it to demonstrate the next lesson of this. I may not, ooh, it sounds like they're done. Uh, I may not have it readily available. Ooh, sounds like all of our potions are done. Yeah, it's not over here. Sorry about that. Um, maybe over here. Uh, word of advice, because I didn't do it, you should definitely, definitely label stuff, unlike me. Maybe there's some right here. No, that's nether wart blocks. That's good, though. I am going to have to pause the video because I'm, I don't know where to I put it all. My apologies. All right, I'm back. Uh, let me show you the results of the potion real quick. Quick, these are a potion of swiftness. Yes, they are because they give you a sugar rush. And by the way, I shoved everything over here. We need some redstone dust to do some amazing effects on all this stuff that we just made. Behold, we are enhancing our, our drug water. <laughs> really, it's not drug water, it's more uh, it's potions of magic. This world's magical. So our potions of swiftness will give us power in this world. And if I was correct, yes, uh, when applied, it gives you extra time. I, I forgot what else you need in order to to really get in there. Ooh, local brewer. Uh, let's see, uh, and we can just shove these potions right over here and you can immediately tell I'm going to need more space for potions because potions are our friends. And I'm going to keep one so I can demonstrate the power of these things. Alright, let's go ahead and drink it. You can see how quick I am? Uh oh, I don't know how that golem got out of here, but uh oh, I'll take care of it later. But yes, I can move pretty quickly for eight minutes. I am swift. I am powerful. And you need to get inside, sir. You know what you've done. Get in there. No, no, no. no. <sighs> Come on, little man. Whatever. I'll keep the door open for him. All right, so, uh, yeah, uh, potions are awesome. That was just something I wanted to show you. All right, so, and whenever you are done with it, just put your empties in here. Uh, we're relatively close to your working environment. All right, so since we've got uh, a lot of surflux uh, diamonds from our excursion uh, in the uh, the abyss essentially we're gonna make ourselves a full set of diamond armor I think I already started on it but I wasn't sure if I did I don't know where I put it but we totally got some diamond armor for our horse if we get one uh, later all right let's go ahead and uh, do the diamond armor because later we can find some things to upgrade ourselves and we're going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and make some pants and little booties. All right, we have a full suit of diamond gear. Cover me with diamonds. All right. Let's just see how it looks on us. Oh yeah, this is what we have been building up for. Slowly, but surely here we are. We're going to definitely upgrade our gear to be more powerful before we go back to that fortress. Part 2 will come out soon enough. But we'll have better gear and so we don't lose it. Let's go ahead and put this over by the enchantment room. 
So that way we know what we're going to enchant stuff with. Ooh, yeah, I want to put that on my my new boots uh, at some point. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got diamond gear taken care of. We have enchanting now taken care of. We could start enchanting things, and you're going to want to start gathering ma ma uh, materials in order to do that. You'll even need iron bits, I think. No, you don't need iron bits. You'll need gold bits as well for the enchanting process because you can use that to do stuff like uh, glistening melon slices. That's why we were interested in the melon in the first place. Uh, I'll show you that process myself. Oh, it's currently dark. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep before I show you that beautiful process of making sliced melons into something else. Unless I didn't build a melon farm. I'm pretty sure I built a melon farm. Did I build a melon farm? I mean, I've got some seeds here, got some cocoa. We can do, let's just go to our gardens and just check that out. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we've got melons. If not, we're going to have to fix that. Ooh, everything is looking delicious over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I don't have melons. I have the pumpkin patch from Halloween. Looking good. This all looks beautiful, by the way. And my golem is more than likely jump the bridge or somewhere. You can really never find any permanent help, it would seem, around here. He probably hopped over here and jumped over here yeah yeah he did that's how if I was able to do it so was he you know what that's fine uh, he is fine that was totally my fault all right but it's more than fine I can get I can construct new help and reinforce the place myself so I uh, can't show you the melon slice technique uh, because uh, I don't have a melon farm. My melon farm is somewhere else currently. Unfortunately, I can't show that to you. Uh, so, anyway, uh, oops, floating things. Uh, anyway, uh, I can show you another uh, potion while we still have some time. All right, we can make some fire resistant potions. Those will come extremely in handy. But so you're familiar with the process. We come over here and we get at least 12 of those. I don't know why I'm doing sand. My apologies. Let me take some glass, make sure it's 12, and we can just come over here, craft those potion bottles thank god we got a little surplus of water you can even make an infinity water nearby so that way you can just glug 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 near your station there's really no pr point in the brewing uh, uh, stand um, not stand but there's, other than decorative there's no point in those Unless you're doing it in the nether, then by all means, have a brewing stand down there. Not a stand, but a um, cauldron. All right, so let's go ahead and fill these back up. Because we're about to do some more brewing. Should have done this on Halloween. All right, so wait, don't forget. Uh, they're around here somewhere. Oh, I had them all the time all along yeah don't forget to grab some of those yeah just grab just put one in a piece you don't want to put too many of those in there and uh, don't forget to make your awkward potions because we're gonna make some fire resistant potions it requires magma cream which you can get easily in the nether instead of hunting down um, slime then blazes and then making them from the blaze powder it's a lot quicker than doing that yeah you can find the uh the little springy uh magma cubes within the um piglin fortress those are pretty easy to find all right so now you want you put your magma cream down 
I'm pretty sure this is fire resistant potion. I could be wrong, but we're making a potion nonetheless. And we're gonna need uh, to extend that with more redstone dust. Let's just grab three. And we're gonna make some really good power, not power armor, but better armor later. So we have our fire resistance potions. We're gonna need them if we're gonna explore the nether like in death. Okay, I finally came down from my high. All right, and now we're going to extend those times because we want fire resistance for as long as we can get it. This is the best way to do it. And as you can see, we're using up the uh, blaze powder every time we make potions. Be sure to always put away your ingredients. And we're going to make another farm next time we meet, by the way. That's not a crafting ingredient. What am I doing? That goes over here in the treasury. And this is where all my stuff is still. It's still sorting things out. I just, I, I don't know, I'm a mess. Uh, here we go, fire resistance potions. Beautiful, we can just jump in the lava and we will not be affected by fire. In this world, magical. So we have our fire resistance potions. Better than the three minute one, way better. And we can enhance these, by the way, with our brewing stands. Uh, all you have to do is take them, like so. And then you just grab the redstone dust, put it right here, pop, 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 pop that in. And that should enhance our stuff. And in order to make a splash potion, you need a... Uh, need some of this gunpowder we've been hoarding for some time now I'll show you how to do that all right we have extended the duration and we're going to pop one of those to make some splash potions and in, in magic uh, magic in this game fun it's all chemistry in this game it's how you do it chemistry is magic in this world okay it's not night 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 yet oh, but we can always look over don't I have a clock somewhere I thought I had a clock somewhere but I do not have a clock apparently you'd think I'd have a clock but I do not okay and we made splash potions isn't that awesome you can just do that with potions as well just in case you don't have time to like uh, you know cover yourself with HP you can also do this with like harmful potions as well so that's it for that. These are some extra waters I've made. Swift potions. Yeah, we have all this right here. We could, all you'd need is a way to the nether and, uh, hand, and access to a lot of ingredients and you could just start a, a little shop on, the, on someone's sh server. It would be easy. Players don't feel like making potions. Potions are super easy to make. I'm an idiot and I can make them really quick. Yeah, all you need is a little bit of ingredients, a little bit of uh, rabbit paws, and you've got yourself a good mix of, you have yourself a magic shop. And not to mention enchanting stuff. Boy, people don't feel like doing that either. So go ahead and do that. I was trying to offload armor right there. And while we're at it, we're going to make that armor statue look pretty good. Let's uh, go ahead and grab some butter, I mean gold. Uh, and we're going to make that uh, armor stand look pretty butterlicious while we're at it. That'll be the last thing we do today. All right. It needs leggings. It needs pants. And it needs a hat. There we go. Not really magical, but you know, I could have used this for the piglin trading, but they've been giving me nothing really as far as trades go as of late. So it's okay to be a little splurgy with stuff in this point in the survival game. And there you have it. We have our suit of armor. He looks pretty nifty. We could probably even give him a weapon if we wanted to. I think. No, I don't think we can give him a weapon. 
anyway uh, that's all I really wanted to do today show you guys uh, how I do uh, potions I uh, I know there's something else that you can use to uh, give you some like bonus uh, quirky abilities with potions but I cannot think of it to save my life I'm this is not a tutorial about anything I just wanted to get some things done part two of the nether fortress will be coming up when I have better uh, diamond gear so I can survive the onslaughts of uh, those uh, of those creatures in there so we'll continue that today was more of a gather your wits and your items deal and get to safety so anyway that's all the time I've got thank you guys so much for tuning in today uh, as always uh, if you have enjoyed yourself please leave a sub a like and uh, if you enjoyed yourself and you don't feel like that that's okay too I'm just happy to have you uh, watching the video today with me uh, and uh, remember, uh, stay geeky out there uh, and safe and uh, wash your hands because we're still in it until things happen. Bye, guys. I'm done. <laughs>